So today on the bench, I'm going to tie you up Don's bait fish. Now this bait fish pattern is one of my favorites. I use it for pike, I use it actually for big walleye, and I've even caught big bass on it. So it's a very, very effective pattern. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we use a Mustad C70 SD size 2 watt. For the thread, we'll use some 6 aught black nano silk, a 3 16th inch gold hologram for the eyes. For the main body, we'll use some gray flash blend, some pink flash blend for the second body, some herring back flash blend for the back, and some chartreuse and pink gulf UV resin for the head. To start the fly off, we want to put on our thread. We've got a nice little base layer right near the, the eyelet. Make sure you get a little bit of thread on there. Then I'm going to take some of my some of my gray. So this is my gray flash blend. Now, when I pull this off, I'm going to pull off just a nice portion, and I want to keep that length. So the whole length of that flash blend, I want to keep in there. You can see it's you know it's a good, fairly stout piece. So find about the halfway point and then tie it in, right at the head end. Take a few wraps, make sure it's nice and secure. And work your way back towards the bend. Now what we're going to do is pull this underneath. And create a little bit of a body under the fly. And wrap over. And make sure that's tied in nice. And leave that length. We're gonna actually pull this off after. We want this pike fly to be quite large. Now that we have the main part of the body tied in, I'm going to take my pink and I'm going to take a smaller portion. I just want a pink highlight in that in the body and I don't want it as long. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this almost in half, my section, and keep that and mix it up a bit, pull it a little bit apart. So you've got a mixture, so both ends are kind of frayed. And again, it's gonna go back about, you know, about uh, half the distance of the, of the big body you put in first. And just wrap it in near the eyelet. And then pull the remainder underneath. You want a little bit of that red underneath. Now that we have the pink tied in, so we've got a pink strand on top and underneath. Now we're gonna finish off with a bit of a back. And I really like this, uh, this herring color for the back. So I'm gonna pull off a fairly, again, thick piece. And really, I'm gonna cut this in half because we don't need it all. We only want it about as long as that main body. So again, you can tie it in, just bring it back. Keep it long, don't ever cut yourself too short. And wrap it in, at the eyelet. And just take your excess and cut it off. Now that we have the back tied in, I want to build up uh, quite a big head on this fly because we're going to put some, some of our UV resin on there in our eyes. And you'll see I've gone quite a ways back. I've actually formed quite a big head on this fly. That's what we want. So just wrap up your thread. And then once you've got a nice head built, with a couple of whip finishes in preparation to put on our eyes. So now that we have the, the back tied in, the body's nice and full. Looks like a nice minnow and we've got quite a big head built. I'm going to take some of my some of my golf resin. And this is just a clear resin to start. And we're just going to put some on. It's quite a thick coat. Make sure you wrap it all around that thread. And while it's still wet, don't actually don't actually seal it up yet, or don't form the, don't solidify it yet. Put one eye on one side, and if there are any problems, just take a bodkin and position the eye. And press it in nicely, and then turn it around on the other side, and put an eye on the other side. Once you have the eyes on, give it a hit with the uh, special Gulf UV lamp just to seal that up. Now we have the eyes on, I'm actually going to form a really nice head on this fly. And I, love, I love the green, the fluorescent green. Gulf makes an excellent head on the fly. And then we'll put in some pink gills after with the pink color. 
So all again we're going to do is just put it on the top and the bottom. So again, don't be afraid to go over those materials. Really fill in that gap for the head. So you got a real nice head on the top. And what we're going to do is hit it with our lamp again. And you see that glow. It just glows fluorescent green. Now that we formed the head and we actually have the eyes on along with the green on the top and the bottom, now what I do is go to the sides and put the red in, the pink. And this fluorescent pink really makes nice, nice uh, gills. So we're just going to put a nice hot spot there on one side. Again, put a nice hot spot on the other side, right behind your eyes, on the material. And then hit it with your UV light. Now that we have the head completely finished, you can see we've got the green with the nice gills on the side and the, the body's finished. What I like to do is pull it back, you know, like a pike fly to be six inches long or more. Really, when you pull all this material back and brush it back, you know, at the very end, you can just really slowly taper and snip it off. But keep it long. I always keep the flies long and then trim them back if I have to. But pike are not shy, so make sure your patterns are nice and long. So there it is, Don's bait fish. This pattern, as I mentioned in the intro, works great for pike. It's one of my favorite pike flies. And again, I've also caught bull trout on it, bass, and other species. So give it a shot, you're gonna love it. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, Head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.